Hello guys and welcome to another calculus video. In this video we're going to be taking on this absolutely crazy integral that you can see on the screen right here. Um, it looks incredibly daunting but I found after a lot of hard work a very beautiful solution to this problem. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to start um, just talking about it right here. First off we can see a few things about this integral. First off it looks um, on the top you can see that this natural log right here, as x goes to infinity, this e to the x is going to dominate, so it's essentially going to be equal to ln e to the x, which is equal to x. So it's going to look like x to the fourth over x to the fourth, which is just zero on the top. So we can see that it tends pretty rapidly to zero for a very large x. Next, we can see that we have this kind of weird function right here. That's x cubed over 6 plus x squared over 2 plus x plus 1. And the key thing to notice here is that we can rewrite this as the sum from n equals 0 to 3 of x to the n over n factorial. So this is actually a partial sum of e to the x, which means that this function, which I'm going to call f of x, this function has properties similar to e to the x. So we can actually sort of uh, see that here when we take f prime of x, this first term is actually going to be the only one that disappears because everything else is going to differentiate down into the next term. So f prime of x is going to equal f of x minus x cubed over 6. And that's a property that we're going to abuse when we are going to uh, make our problem right here. So let's go ahead and write out the integral right here. We have the integral from 0 to infinity of x cubed times ln e to the x plus f of x minus x to the fourth over f of x. So now that we've written in this format, you can see here that we have an f of x on the top and we have an f and f, f of x on the bottom. So this is a place where we're actually going to be able to use Feynman's trick in a pretty cool way. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as i of v for some variable v. And we're going to rewrite this as v times f of x. Now, first off, notice that i of 1 is our original integral, which we're just going to call i, and i of 0 is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of x cubed natural log of e to the x, which is just x, so it's going to be x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, and this whole integral is just going to go to 0. So we have one known value, now we just need to, or we have one known value and one value that we're looking for, now we just need to calculate i prime of v. So the great thing about i prime of v is that by the chain rule, we're going to end up canceling this f of x on the bottom, and this entire term over here is just going to disappear. So i prime of v is going to equal the integral from 0 to infinity of x cubed times f of x over f of x times e to the x plus v f of x. Of course, these f of x's are going to cancel. And this is all dx. And this is where we're going to use what we had from before. We know that the derivative of f of x equals f of x minus x cubed over 6. So this tells us that x cubed equals 6 times the derivative of f of x minus f of x. Is that right? No, it's actually the opposite. So uh, x cubed is equal to 6 times f of x minus f prime of x. So we're going to go ahead and actually rewrite x cubed in this situation as that, because now we have everything pretty much in terms of f of x. So um, I'm going to bring that 6 outside right here, and we're going to rewrite this as f of x minus f prime of x. And I've left some space here because if we want to be able to integrate this, first off, it's going to be easier if we just have a v on the top here. So we're going to divide by v and multiply by v right here. And each the x also has similar properties to f of x, because as we remember, f of x, when we differentiate, we just lose one term. But e to the x, when we differentiate, we don't lose anything at all. We end up with the exact same expression. So we're going to add and subtract e to the x on the top. What that's going to look like is we're going to have i prime of v equals 6 over v times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the x 
plus v f of x minus a to the x plus v f prime of x. You might see what I'm trying to do here, because all of this is over e to the x plus v f of x. Now this first part right here is just going to end up being 1, because it cancels perfectly. And this second part right here doesn't simplify easily, because it's kind of a nasty situation. But what we are able to do here is notice that the derivative of e to the x plus v f of x is just e to the x plus v f prime of x. So we can integrate this using the natural log. So what our integral is going to end up being is we're going to have i prime of v equals 6 over v times integral from 0 to infinity of, or actually uh, we're just going to integrate here, so we're going to end up with the integral of 1, which is just x, minus the integral of, uh, or just, I guess we'll just use natural log of e to the x plus v f of x, evaluated at infinity and at 0. So at infinity, this e to the x is going to dominate, and so it's going to act like natural log of e to the x, which is just x, so everything's going to cancel at infinity. At 0, we're going to have 6 over v times negative, and then this is just going to be 0, and then minus natural log of e to the 0 is just 1, plus v times f of 0, right? Um, I kind of messed up the I guess the negative sign should have been out here. So overall, this is going to be positive. And remember that f of x was equal to x cubed over 6 plus x squared over 2 plus x plus 1. And so f of 0 is just 1. So overall, we're going to get 6 over v times natural log of 1 plus v. And now we just have to solve for i of v. And that's actually very, very difficult to solve for i of v directly. So we're just going to set up a definite integral. We're going to solve integral from 0 to 1 of i prime of v, dv. And then integral from 0 to 1, 6 of ln 1 plus v over v, dv. So we're going to get i of 1, which was our original integral, which we'll just write as i. And we're going to subtract i of 0, which is just 0. So we just get that i is equal to 6 times, expanding this as an infinite sum, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over n plus 1 times the integral from 0 to 1 of v to the n dv equals 6 times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over n plus 1 squared equals 6 times eta of 2, which if you're familiar with your values of the zeta and eta function, you know that eta of 2 equals 1 minus to the negative 1 times uh, zeta of 2, where zeta of 2 is just pi squared over 6. So we're going to have 1 half times pi squared over 6 equals pi squared over 12. So our answer right here is just going to be pi squared over 2. So I hope you guys enjoy this video with a cool integral, uh, another integral destroyed by Feynman's trick. If you want to see more videos or you have um, Suggestions for future videos, please throw them down in the comments. Um, if you watch the end, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed.